So one of the things that I like to do is kind of change the decor through the seasons. So spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I'm gonna do that now in the kitchen. And usually I do it through stuff like my towels and little accessories. And I think it's a nice way to change the space without doing a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, so these are in my summer towels. I got these on my trip to Paris. They're really cute. They're croissants. I also like to use these on the table for brunch. I just think yellow is a happy color at breakfast time and the pattern is fun and casual, but also cute and unexpected. And then, you know, something you can always do is these little bouquets are just a nice touch to have around the kitchen. And then, um, eventually I'll show you a tour of the space and kind of how I'm organizing it. It's bigger than the one that I had in New York, but it's still, I would say, a petite kitchen. And just trying to figure out what works and doesn't work will take a few weeks, but maybe I think that can be in a later video. It's just kind of figuring out how to organize. It might also force me to do it since I haven't yet. Well, I did some of it, but for example, I put knives here and I'm just not sure it makes sense. So I might move into another drawer and then find a place where to do the dishes. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the decorating part now. So I just finished cleaning and kind of organizing and I wanted to kind of walk you through the space. Uh, I guess I should maybe flip the camera. Anyway, so I put this wreath up here in the window. I think that's like a nice touch. And then here, as you can see, kind of a nice, these are these French tea towels. And they have these really great patterns on them. This one is just citrus, so it has large lemons. And I just thought it would work for now until I find the other one of that. So the reason I like this is, if you're washing your hands or doing whatever, I think it's better to come here and dry them off with this than it is to use a napkin or a paper towel. Um, and then I always like to have a little candle going here. This is a menu from a party that I did. And here's the mantle, it's pretty simple. I found these little houses and I'm using those. But that's the kitchen. Uh, let me know if you want to do a more in-depth tour of it. Um, but I'm just starting to incorporate little things like these touches uh, to kick off the season and then this arrangement I'm gonna work on some tomorrow, but that's gonna go here. I used to be in the foyer and I thought it was a nice touch. Another thing I did for storage was this shelf here um, just to kind of do a coffee tea station and it's gonna be able to take care of taking stuff out of the cabinets and off the shelves so that there's more room in there. And that's it, that's the first intro to the kitchen. It's really small, but I really, really like it, actually. I think it's pretty comfortable. And once I organize the space better, you know, it's just, that's a lot of space just for plates. And there's glasses, and then, you know, nobody likes to show this drawer, but this is just like miscellaneous Tupperware and extra glasses that probably should be somewhere else, but that's where they've landed for now. I'm gonna go in the foyer now and do some decorating there.
Okay, so I just put all that stuff down in the basement and I wanted to show you the foyer. This is it. Um, actually, if you click to the end of the video, I'm gonna put in a clip when I had this for Halloween. I left it for fall just cause I thought the leaves still work. And really um, the basement is shared. So I just didn't know where to put it cause I don't wanna take space that belongs to other people. So when you walk in, this is our front door. Um, I found this table and we have it here. So it's kind of a place to do keys and then two big windows, which lets in a lot of light. That's why all of my plants are now in here uh, unintentionally. It's just where I think they're gonna be able to survive the winter. And then some deliveries, it should be Christmas stuff, but I think I'm gonna keep it simple for Christmas. I found those at the Target dollar spot and I just put them on the top of the windows and I was gonna do wreaths in all the windows but I think maybe I'll do that next year, but I am gonna put one on the mirror. Hello. And this table and the mirror were found at a flea market here in town. And I really like the piece. They were a really good find at a good price. I'm gonna to have to organize that. It's kind of a mess, like I think most people's front room tables. And then this is more stuff that has to go out. These rocks I kind of collect when I travel and I've never really had a place to put them, but so far they work there. In a way, I'm gonna hang that in the hallway outside and then that goes into the bedroom. But let me show you what's in here and then cut to a clip of the Halloween stuff. But yeah, so the space, once again, it's the foyer that goes into the living room that way. And this space is gonna be just kind of a simple Christmas. Just really the front table and the mirror is what I'm gonna decorate and kind of focus more of the decorations over in the living room where I'll put a tree and more stuff. I want to do candle windows, but when I thought about that, I forgot that this piece of molding is centered and I just wanted one candle in the center, but since there's wood there, it doesn't really work. So it'd mean I would have to have two candles, which then multiplies to two, four, six, eight, and I'm still debating whether it makes sense. Also, there's no ledge in these, I could put them outside, but they'll fall out. And then I don't know how to turn them on and off unless they are with a remote control and wind could knock them off. Here the ledge works, but from the street view, the problem is that unless you're my neighbor, you don't really get to appreciate them. If we were ground level, it would make sense. But the only thing I can think of is using those suction cup holders, but I just don't know if it's worth it since I don't think the effect, which is to see them from the outside, would really work. And then it would be, you know, it, it would start looking like a, some kind of candle ceremony. Even though I like candles, I don't know if I need 12 of them, but I'm still trying to figure out a solution for that. So yesterday I noticed that you couldn't see any of the stuff I was unboxing. So today, oh, you can. Um, I've ordered a bunch of stuff for Christmas and then just some uh, Black Friday sale stuff that I've been meaning to get for the house because you might as well take advantage of the discount. And these are ha, the candles that I saw on another vlogger. She got them for her house. Um, her channel is New England Fine Living. I really like hers. She just moved into a new historic property. And she apparently said these are really, really good. I hope they are. Um, so you see they're a battery operated LED candle, found them on Amazon. It's a set of only six. I thought it was more than that, but I guess six is a good start. So they kind of have this phony baloney little candle tip, but I think that shape, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of almost shaped like a flame, obviously not a truly realistic flame, but that little addition of a wick, I think makes them more realistic or I guess believable from far away than just a light bulb and seeing the filament. And then this is plastic, but from far away it looks like brass. And really these aren't meant for, you know, it's not like you're gonna sit at a dining room table with someone and put this on front of them and be like, look at my beautiful candle. This is more decorative for the windows. Wait, where's the window? This way? There it is, that's the window. So they're kind of gonna go sit there. I need to still find the suction cups. Um, but I'm gonna put batteries in these and let you see how they turn out. And then what's here? Okay, so then this is one of those huge Yankee Candle jar candles. 
Um, I know there's a lot of haters for Yankee Candle. I like them, they're nostalgic to me. I grew up with this brand. And this one's the Balsam and Cedar. And that was part of the Cyber Monday sale. So I ordered one of those. And this will either go in the kitchen or the foyer or the bathroom. I don't know, I just think it's a good neutral scent. It's not too overbearing, and I think the smell of pine during winter is a nice touch. And you're expected to smell pine when you see a tree and stuff like that, without it being, you know, like a other spicy scented candles. Um, so anyway, that's the candle, and this is the fake candle. So two candles, real and fake. And that's the unboxing for today. So please stay tuned for more videos, and thanks for watching. Bye until tomorrow.